Hello everyone. I am myself Dr. Rajesh Guba. I am the general medicine educator on an academy and I welcome you all to this particular session of the clinical sign of the day. So before going ahead with the session, let me just tell you, an academy has come up with these very important batch courses. One is Mission INI CET 2021 batch, clinical examination and procedures batch, and another important batch courses are Target Next 2022 batch and Target Next Integrated batch 2023. So all these batch courses, they are starting from 22nd of September. And you can use my code that is live med for 10% discount for your subscriptions. So having said this, let me start with the session. So the question is, in which of the following condition, this particular sensation is being lost, right? And let me show you what exactly is the clinical sign which I wanted to demonstrate. So you observe closely, closely what test is being performed on the individual by the doctor. The options for the questions are Kalman syndrome, Addison's disease, hyperemesis gravidarum, mucoviscidosis. Yes, so first initially the doctor is explaining to the patient Now, doctor has brought some substance near the nostril and patient has said that Now, next important, she has obstructed the other nostril and doctor has brought some other substance to the alternative nostril and she has said that. So very simple, right? I need not tell you what is being tested here is right what is being tested here is the smell sensation and you have to know that smell sensation is being lost in patients with the Kalman syndrome there will be anosmia in Kalman syndrome see what is the importance of this clinical sign and this question is how you will you examine the smell sensation first of all let me tell you the smell sensation is being carried by the first cranial nerve that is the olfactory nerve and the procedure is that you should advise the patient to keep one nostril open, the other one closed with the finger. And you need to keep the substance which you want to test for at a 30 centimeters distance. And very important is you also need to know what substances are being used for testing the smell sensation. These are the substances that should be familiar substances like the coffee beans, peppermint oil, clove oil or soap. These are the substances which are being used for testing the smell sensation. And very important, you should also know which particular substance should not be used. Right? The substance which is not used for testing the smell sensation is ammonia. Now the question is why? Ammonia is an irritating and a pungent substance. It can stimulate the trigeminal nerve. Sensory component of trigeminal nerve can be stimulated. And that is the reason why ammonia should not be used for the testing the smell sensation. And because our answer was Kalman syndrome, Kalman syndrome, what are the other components? Very important, there will be anosmia, there is loss of sensation of smell and other features of Kalman syndrome is that the individual will have obesity, hypogonadism and midline defect. Now what will be the homework of the day? The question is in which of the following conditions cacosmia is present? The options are severe upper respiratory tract infection, mucoviscidosis, strychnine poisoning, migraine. So answer your Answer this particular question in the comment section. I will revert back to you with the correct answer. So if you have liked this particular video, just please share with your friends. And yes, I just want to inform, this is the limited time offer from an academy. You can go through the various subscriptions of months and the prices have been reduced grossly. So you can use this particular advantage. Thank you very much. See you again in the next clinical sign of the day.